Greetings ladies, it's Tanya with an I and thank you for stopping by my channel, The Classy Code, where we discuss practical tips concerning lifestyle, etiquette, and personal development for today's modern woman. I'm very excited about this most recent purchase that I made. As you all are aware, I love anything scent related, handbag related, that's kind of my thing. And I'm very excited about this because this product is something that I first heard about off of the Glam Twins channel. Some of you all may watch their channel. It's Kelsey and Kendra Morell. They are um, lifestyle bo bloggers, they're twins who live in Atlanta, and I've been following their channel for quite some time now, for probably about six years, and I absolutely love them. I think they have incredible style. I think they are extremely put together. So when they did their video on this product a couple weeks ago, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting that. And the product that I am speaking of is a candle from a black owned candle company based out of New York called Harlem Candle Company. And as you all can see, I have the box here on my little table and I started to open it yesterday, but as I was opening it, I was like, oh no, I want to do an unboxing and first impressions video with everyone, so let me stop. So I didn't go any further, I just cut the top part of it off and I was like, I'm gonna save the rest of the unboxing for the actual video. Again, the name of the company is Harlem Candle Company and the About Us page on their website reads as follows. The Harlem Candle Company is a luxury home fragrance brand specializing in scented candles inspired by the richness of Harlem. Founded in 2014 by travel and lifestyle expert Terry Johnson, the Harlem Candle Company is the manifestation of her love affair with fragrance, jazz, and Harlem. First impressions, even before I get to what the candle looks like, um, is that the website itself is beautiful. The aesthetic of the website is beautiful. I think it's beautifully crafted and very user-friendly. Um, as far as things like pricing, the 12 ounce candles do run about $45, so it is a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, as far as shipping went, I ordered this candle on Tuesday, September 29th, and currently it is Sunday, October 4th, and I received the candle in the mail yesterday morning, which would have been Saturday, October 3rd. So super, super quick delivery. I even got a text message after I put in my order, thanking me for putting in my order and an email confirming my order and that they would be shipping it out shortly. So as far as I'm concerned, um, it's been great customer service with them so far. My candle came very quickly. And now let's get into the good part, the unboxing. So as you can see here, this is what the inside of the box looks like. When I first opened up the box, there was this candle care tips here. And on the candle care tips, it gives you tips for taking care of your candle. It gives you some advice, such as when you're burning the candle for the first time, letting the wax melt across the entire surface to prevent tunneling, um, to not have your candle lit for more than four hours at a time to keep the wicks trimmed and to extinguish the candle with a snuffer. So already really great packaging and marketing with the candle care tips. The next is this postcard here where it says a home fragrance renaissance. And on the back of it is a thank you. And it says, thank you so much for your order. Please enjoy 10% off your next purchase with code thank you. If you love your purchase, let us know. Um, I'm hoping, I already love the vibe of this, so I'm really hoping that I will love the candle as well. So I would definitely let them know and leave them a good review. And then here, there's a bunch of paper towels in here. Paper towels, um, you know, the brown paper bag material. So they, they kept it boxed up pretty 
tightly in this box, which I'm appreciating. And then the actual candle itself is in bubble wrap here. And I'm just gonna take the bubble wrap off. And then that is the box that it comes in. So it's a little bit smaller than I expected. To be honest, like my first impression, I didn't expect that it would be this small. I mean, I don't know how big I thought 12 ounces was gonna be, but I expected it to be a little bit larger than that. We're gonna go ahead and take the actual candle out of the box. So then there's another little card in there. So the candle that I got is the Speakeasy and the speakeasy so the card that was inside the box says speakeasy evokes the night its mystery and forbidden touch inspired by the secretive nightclubs during the peak of prohibition in harlem this rich dynamic scent is intoxicating with fragrance notes of palo santo bourbon dark chocolate and plum blossom Allow this tantalizing fragrance to whisk you away to a 1920s Harlem speakeasy. Easy. So again, that is the card that comes with it. Again, I'm really appreciating the packaging here. Inside of the box is a map of Harlem. And the reason why I know that is because I did do a little bit of research before this making this video but I don't know if you can see that here on the back here is an actual poem to Harlem and the poem states I Harlem and your am your muse I have endowed you with culture and song that shall last for all of time for I am abundant my hills have melted in your warm embrace and taken the shape of a candle. My street lights become wicks that shine for love and prosperity. The breezes of my seasons are expressed through scents. I lovingly share my essence through a collection of fragrant candles, masterfully created to bring joy to one and all, the Harlem Candle Company. I'm gonna go ahead and light this for a few minutes and then I'll be back to let you all know how well it fills the room. So I'm gonna leave it lit for about 20 minutes, like I said, just to see how it does, and I will be right back. Okay, ladies, I'm back. And I've had the candle burning for about 20 minutes now, and I do like it. Um, I think I'm still kind of getting used to the scent. I typically gravitate towards more as y'all know more vanilla more sweetness and while this does have a hint of sweetness to it, it is a lot more masculine than i tend to gravitate towards for candles but i do like this candle i like the smell it's not overwhelming but it's not so faint where you feel like you can't smell it either my prediction is that you will be able to smell it better as it burns down more so um yeah, I think it was definitely worth the money. The packaging and the customer service, the quick delivery, and the excellence of the presentation of the product definitely make it worth the money. But as far as first impressions are concerned, I do really like this candle. On a scale of one to 10, I probably would give it like an eight and a half, nine. Uh, so I, I think that that is pretty good. It's a really good candle for fall and winter time. The scent kind of reminds me a little bit of a more masculine uh, Armani Code Cashmere. And you can definitely smell the chocolate notes 
and the uh, bird notes. If you hear a little bit of whining in the background, that's my dog. She wants me to pay her some attention. I feel like she wants attention every time I do a YouTube video. <laughs> Maybe I should let her do some. But yeah, so that's my impression of this candle. I hope you all have enjoyed today's video. If, if you would do me a favor, if you've made it this far in the video, if you would please give me a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe. And until next time, I wish you nothing but the best of mental, physical, and emotional and spiritual health. Thanks again and take care. Mm-hmm.